what up y'all welcome back to another one come on Fred let's go oh what a beautiful spring morning the sprinklers are a sprinkling check it out check out the house I'm loving I have been working my butt off for the last two days on my yard actually two weeks before I went uh, snow goose hunting up north which I hope you guys like those two videos uh, not the best hunts in the world but we had a great time up there at Flatland look at this oh beautiful spring morning let me tell you here at Bobby Guy Films Ranch okay it's really not a ranch might as well just keep calling it Sand Hill Flyways but turkey season is upon us uh, like I said I'm gonna be getting a new bow I should be going and buying that thing today uh, but we're scouting today and I got the big lens oh yeah we're with Gerald he'll be here literally any minute and uh this season this time of season this will be our third year or fourth uh turkey hunting together and just getting after it a lot of mornings he'll meet me at the house i'll hop in with him and we will just get after it straight scouting and uh this will be one of my first years with this bad boy so when we're scouting i'll be able to throw it on zoom in explain the situation where we're at what we got what we're looking at <sighs> because boys and gals I am so excited for turkey hunting as well as I want to tell you guys got a lot of new content come to the channel a lot of motorsports stuff yeah boats all kinds of toys and Frederick will still be there waiting for duck season because that's what Frederick does he dreams of duck season every single night I can hear him whining in his dreams about it and uh, we still got the pigeon hunting and I have had so many requests I wanted to ch touch on this just a little bit here we got magnet fishing coming magnet fishing will be on the way me and dad are excited to get after it this year we scouted some new spots some new areas some new waters some new docks in hopes to find that big treasure so there's a bunch of you that have been requesting the summertime springtime uh, warm weather uh magnet fishing videos and they are on the way believe me just be patient but we got a lot of new toys been saving up my money for a lot of years to buy a lot of these toys so stay tuned it's gonna be a ton of fun you little sucker go on get out of here go on i'm missing guide season y'all y'all have uh really said it yourselves man this i've heard it from so many people uh bobby this season of hunts were amazing because of the lodge and the clients I know it was awesome great people great help great hunts i miss it oh well looky there gerald done found him we're with beefcake himself and how many is out there two there's two, two long beards a jake and five hens two long beards a jake and five hens we already got her counted up son gerald's been waiting for turkey season oh, no. <laughs> oh my god bob well, that's a pretty sight. They were just at their house. I'm going to talk to them. Right on. Well, we're going to head over to the uh, landowner's house, see if we can get her wrapped up. Well, <laughs> we are talking here. Seem, I don't want to say the landowners seem a little sketchy. I don't know. They kind of seem a little sketchy. I'm kind of doubtful, but... I can't zoom in with this lens, it's not going to focus. Something happened to my lens and it's broke. Let's try. Oh, he's talking to him right there, uh oh. Here he comes back. Do we have a yes? Do we have a no? Let's wait and see here. Man, I'm good. Oh, he got it. He said, man, I'm good. <laughs> So the landowners, those turkeys that we've seen are on the north side of the dirt road. Uh, Gerald is 110% certain that they're roosting on the south side of the road at these guys' uh, property here. There's some really, really tall trees and a nice thick tree row. Definitely roost cities. So one down. Oh, Gerald, he's, he's magical. Oh, Gerald, he's magical, isn't he, Frederick? Yeah. Pillsbury Doughboy laugh. <laughs> Got her, huh? 
for the most part there's still one more person they have to ask but they said that shouldn't be an issue oh really yep they seem sketchy at the beginning you had a lot of hand signals uh, going on yeah yeah but uh super nice they know oh good the farmer that i deal with up here a lot they're neighbors with him actually his property's right there yeah but they said that there's several groups of turkeys that roost here they got 20 acres on the other side they said there's another group of birds that roost over there and uh they don't have an issue with us hunting any of it sweet oh yeah he's gobbling hard Just went through how big is that acre? how big is that property just, right there just short of a thousand just short of a thousand acre property i didn't film any of the ponds but probably four or five ponds and it's gorgeous but we're gonna head back home i wanted to talk a little bit while we're hold up now that we got out of the pasture i better put the old seat belt on I wanted to talk a little bit about the turkey tour and we're gonna be uh just getting after it. a lot a lot of hunts so that's why i'm calling it the turkey tour it's not set necessarily that we have specific states or destinations we're going to be going to but we're going to be taking a lot of people hunting that's for one we got uh the guys that won the turkey hunt coming up soon yeah what is today <laughs> i'm like the fourth or fifth or the fifth the fifth so 10 days yeah. that's quite a bit that's just right though that'll be perfect uh starting to scout and get some properties for uh that uh we got two guys the lucky winners uh of the patreon podcast giveaway Tur two man turkey hunt they're coming in the 15th that is shotgun opener and uh i think we'll have some really good luck yeah. we're already <laughs> the, where they're going i would not be surprised if they're down the first day yeah that means preston's property out east they're everywhere out there but the turkey tour uh G will be shooting uh, possibly archery, me possibly archery. If we don't get it done with archery, uh, we're going to be doing some awesome 410 ones. That's what I'm debating. I'm like, man, the 410 with a fan, that would be... I feel like people would love that. I would love that. Yeah, it'd be fun to watch. I'll be there on the hunt and I'll still watch it. Right. <laughs> I know. And we got the big lens. We got the big lens. We got the GoPro with a shot cam and a fan. I feel like that would be so cool. So I kind of want to uh save my one turkey limit which is what we have here at home uh for that but we have an option to come up north only about you know 40 miles 30 miles north and shoot a second one in a different area of the state yeah so maybe we'll do it both maybe we'll do archery and then the 410. y'all have to drop a comment down below what's more entertaining an archery turkey hunt or a 410 fan 410 anything turkey hunt i feel like 410 is just it's special it is that one last year was a lot of fun yeah you got that your double long, beard that was a long poke yeah 52 52 50, yards 52-yard shot with the tss that tungsten load from federal unreal no joke 52 yards and y'all love that video so maybe that's what we do just spotted this big boy Dang it. Trying to see them spurs, are you? See if he's banded. <laughs> see if he's banded. <laughs> they ban turkeys up here. Oh, I know. That would be amazing. That'd be, un that'd be unreal. Banded turkey. How many of y'all have experienced that? Maybe you were on a hunt with a buddy. Maybe you shot one yourself. A banded turkey. Uh-oh. Come on. Hello. Get in, mamacita. Oh, well, it's no surprise. We've had it for how long? 
four or five days? Four or five days. We've been riding it everywhere. We love it. Uh, I was gonna show, I was gonna do the turkey deal, the scouting, and then show you my truck. But all that's new on the truck is just a boring topper. I wasn't expecting to get this ride uh, in the middle of making this video, and that's what happened. So, uh, turkey turkey season's back. Turkey tour has begun. We're gonna be going everywhere. Uh, we got clients coming in who won the turkey hunt, uh, the whole nine yards. So lots of turkey hunt coming in the new rig. As long as I don't tear it up, right? Seriously, yeah. yeah. This is a Cadillac for the lot. It is nice a rig. Cadillac, let yeah. me tell you. Uh, it's got built-in stereo all the way around. It runs off my phone, off Bluetooth. Uh, check this out. Yeah, bougie. Bougie Bob is what I should be called. Uh, electric windows. Yes. So the Can Am uh, HD10 Limited, the Limited Edition, comes with the whole cab enclosure, heat and AC uh, windshield, which does have a crack. Uh, the owner told me that told me about that. A wiper on the front windshield and this limited uh, leather seat package, which is unreal. These things have been so hard to find. How long was I looking? I was looking well over a month, two, I mean, probably a month and a half hard looking. There was looking. nothing around where we're at. Nothing. Yeah. And whenever, whenever something would pop up, it'd be gone. But let's, uh, I'm gonna park up here on the hill. We'll do a couple little hill climbs with her. It's a beast. I'll walk you around and show you what all is going on here. All right, babe. All right. Uh, not as planned uh, it's a little harder than I want to be <laughs> on her I'll be honest with you I don't I want to treat her nice that was for y'all I'm not necessarily gonna treat her like that all the time so you better enjoy it while you got it I know I'm gonna get a lot a lot a lot of comments down there come on Braden Price does it well guess what oh, we're still stuck uh, Braden Price does it, yada, yada, yada. Well, guess what? I'm old and I'm not Braden Price and I don't like messing up my stuff. Oh my. Oh. But it is my dream rig. I'm gonna tell you right now, I have always dreamed of getting this side by side. I waited a very long time and saved all the money I needed to for a long time to get this side by side. I'll tell you right now. When I found this bad boy, my buddy Wade, y'all know Wade, he found it for me and it was down in Texas, Amarillo, Texas. He, luckily, the guy I bought it from, he met me halfway. And uh, honestly, in the I didn't even read the whole description of the unit before I bought it. I just seen a picture of it and I'm like, oh yeah, it's got light bars, it's got a bumper, a winch. It looked like it was just leveled. You know, it didn't look like it had an actual lift kit on it, but boys and gals, she got a lift kit on her. It's got the rear lights in the back, which, front and rear man you, you light it up so the main reason i bought this bad boy one for the family we need something to go road cruising we need something to go camping with and to the dunes and down to disney all this stuff but i needed it most of all for hunting this coming season for guiding my clients so with heat and ac with the heat clients are going to love it it's going to be extra warm you're not going to get muddy going in and out of the field 
you never have to walk. So this year I'm running two spreads. I needed my own machine. Gerald has his own machine. So this I believe is a three inch lift uh, and it's an A-arm lift. So it actually came with replacement A-arms. As you can tell, they got a little bow to them. I know a lot of you are gonna ask me what brand. I don't know. I don't know. The guy was the second owner of this that I bought it from and he absolutely knew nothing about it. Uh, great guy, he just didn't know what he had. And um, I'm proud to own it. I am so excited for hunting season with this. We got a radio, we got Bluetooth. We're gonna be jamming warm with a bunch of lights. That light bar, oh guys, beautiful machine, isn't it? Took a lot of saving my money to get that bad boy. I'll tell you right now, this is, this is Bobby's reward for my hard work. That's what I call it. You earn things in life. And I've had a lot of people say, well, why'd you get something so nice? You're just gonna tear it up with hunting. I don't tear my stuff up. Yes, was I hard on it one time? Like I said, that's it. You're not gonna see me get hard on this bad boy again. I'm gonna baby it. I take care of my stuff. Uh, usually when I buy something, even remotely like this, I have it forever. I'm not a guy who buys stuff to resell it in a month or a year to make some money. I usually find something I like and buy it because I need it. And I need it for a long time. So take care of your stuff out there, guys. Uh, this is uh, this unit is obviously not cheap at all and um, The more you take care of it the longer she's gonna last and I can tell you I'm excited to have the clients in here Jamming out in the mornings. It's gonna be awesome And we better put her to bed I got a lot of work to do today This right here This right here <laughs> I am spoiled rotten for that right there Electric windows and a side-by-side. -side. Who would have knew? But um, I had uh, asked you all on my Instagram, I was like, hey, do you, any of you know of one for sale? And there's a few of you that tried helping, but oh, when I seen this bad boy, and look at this, it even came, so these are 32 inch tires. These are 32 inch, what are these, Maxxis? carnivores and they are beautiful brand new they're really aggressive we're going to be doing a lot of dirt road riding so i might actually get more of a like a uh, a radial kind of flat top all-terrain tr tire but it also came with these bad boys on the stock can-am wheels these are 32 inch system off-road xt 300s and let me tell you they are they look like Super Swampers, is what they look like. They remind me of Mickey Thompson Super Swampers. Really aggressive tire. I don't know if I'll run those or not. But um, it's not going to be hard taking care of it in Kansas. It's not like Arkansas. It's not going to be in the mud every day. We do dry field hunts quite often. So if I was to buy something to tear up, you know, no pun intended, Gerald, but I'd get something like Gerald's, you know, something that's open cabbed, a little older. Um, by the way, Look at Gerald's unit. It needs some TLC and some love. He got back from uh, Arkansas and literally just unloaded it. So we need to get a power washer bot and we need to get her cleaned up. I am debating, I think it looks sweet, getting a rack, the quack rack for the back. And I also want the front rack. I think the front rack in particular would look good on here. I'm just worried about my lights. The rack will be in front of the lights so I could move the lights or just keep it like it is. I think I'm gonna keep it like it is in the back for now, but get a front rack. Cause I feel like the front rack, we could put all of our shotguns on and then the uh, back in the bed, we can put all of our blind bags in. And then like always, you guys see them, we put the trailer behind it, load up the decoys. It's gonna be a good year. So, not much to do here. Not like I'm going to go thrash it and send it through a pond to entertain you all. Because I'm not like that. I, t I do. I, I, I pride my stuff. I take care of my stuff. And watch this. Old Mallard. We still got Mallard. See him? He follows me around and nips at my feet. I think he thinks he's Fred. Honestly. He sees Fred follow me around. And he'll just start following me. 
he's not doing it right now but usually he's nipping at my feet well, here he comes look see what do you want man what do you want look what do you want what do you want he knows i feed him i think that's the thing what leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> he relies on me it's funny he's like a little dog but i want to thank you all for being here not the longest video not the most entertaining but i wanted to show you all we do have the turkeys we're getting ready to start hunting them uh and it's going to be a lot of fun we got some shotgun hunts coming up uh we got some 410 hunting coming up that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bust out the 410 and try to get a tom down with the turkey fans so wish me luck i hope you all are having great luck archery season here and youth season for turkey uh remember to be safe out there guys keep your gun pointed away from people at all times uh and keep her on safety please 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 keep it in your mind if you're a beginner uh i am talking to you put it in your mind keep my gun on safety keep my gun on safety keep my gun on safety thank you all for being here but until next time I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got a girl that